hello i am back with another video and my light is back thank goodness because i don't know what kind of light fixture i was gonna try to finagle fandango something to make it look as good as the ring light because let's just be honest this ring light is everything and it was just been a struggle anyway it's fourth of july so happy fourth of july i missed being here doing videos i was doing it and then my light broke so i figure i'm going to do like regular videos one week and then every other week like a vlog so let's see how that works out for me i figured i haven't done a favorites video in like Forever, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Cause not a lot of people watch them. I don't know why that is because I feel like favorites videos is like really good because I have tried like so many products that I probably wouldn't have tried regularly had I not watched different favorites videos, and I have fell in love with a lot of products. From watching these videos that I probably would never have tried had I not watched a favorites video. I have quite a few so I'm gonna try to get this done super quickly because you know it is 4th of July and I want to grill and I want to eat and be fat like always. So let's get started. Okay okay so I'm gonna start with makeup because that's always easy to start with and get out of the way i'm going to start with lipsticks oh my gosh so if you have not tried nyx um liquid suede lipsticks you need to try them they are so 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 bomb they are pigmented they are comfortable to wear and they are just everything so i have five colors i have um let's see this one is L S C L 07. This one doesn't really have any. Okay, wait. I'm lying. Just kidding. Okay, so this one is Sandstorm. And then I have Kitten Hills, which I'm wearing right now. And I am obsessed. And then I have Stone Fox, which was in my Bow Lips video. And I have Amethyst, which was also in my Bow Lips video video and I have pink lust passion rose so I have five these are the only ones that you know kind of like caught my eye um you can see the two ones that I mentioned that were in my lookbook video um in my lookbook video and this one is pink rose I don't think I've shown this one and that is what that looks like really pretty i don't wear this one often so if you haven't tried those go try them and then if you're into glosses which i am like every other day i'm like i need a gloss i just love the way gloss makes your lips look juicy plumped everything okay i'm gonna walk around to see everything for the rest of this video let's make that happen these are my favorite ones by milani and these are brilliant shine lip glosses and I have Moi Fetish and Berry Tempting. So these are like so good, like so good. I'll do a swatch of Mauve. And it's just really glossy and it's a little sticky. I will say, you know, some glosses you don't like that sticky, but listen. As long as my lips is shining, I'll deal with the stickiness. And they smell good, too. They smell like vanilla. I have a new setting spray that I use. I used to use the NYX Matte Setting Spray, but I recently tried the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer Water. And yes, I love it. So this is the only one I use at the time. I grabbed a small one just to make sure I was gonna like it. And I do like it, so I think I'm going to probably purchase the big one. It's not that cheap, but it's good. So, and moving on to face um, powder, powder, face powder, powder, setting powder, face setting powder. I only 
used the e.l.f. high definition one and recently like I see like the one that I'm about to mention in videos like all the time and so when I was in Walmart the other day I seen it and I was just like that powder I see all the time let me pick it up and try and it is the airspun loose face powder and it looks like this and I have been using this to set my makeup ever since like I haven't even picked up my elf so moving on so these nails that I have on are falsies of course 99.9% no 100% that I have on nails, they are gonna be false. And I seen these in Claire's and I love like the shape of them, like that's how they came. And I was just like, oh my God, I've been looking for nails like that for a long time. So I picked them up. The only thing that was not really, this hair is like a hot, poofy mess. Please, please excuse this hair, it is just, doing its own thing and it's time for me to wash it but I was just trying to hold out for a couple days because I'm going to be filming a hair tutorial soon and like, like I was saying about the nails the only thing that I was not really you know too uh, excited about was the color because it's this bright green color I mean I don't have anything against bright green like sometimes I will rock it depending on my mood but I just was not mm, in for it so I was like, well, that's no big deal. I'll just get them anyway. And it comes in a case like this. I was just like, I'll get them anyway and then paint my own color on them, right? Easy peasy, no big deal. So let me just tell you the story real quick. Get home, I do just that. Well, not that day, but the next day. I do just that, paint them my color that I want them. And I started with this hand because I'm right-handed. So I started with my left hand. And I would say when I got about to like this nail, I started noticing that it was like crinkling up and I was just like, what is that? Like, why is it doing that? Why is it giving me these, this, this texture that I'm not, you know, very uh, fond of? So I was just like, okay, that's just weird. So I take some nail polish remover and I just was like, okay, I'm just gonna take it off. Please don't be messed up because I have these nails already glued on to my fingers. So please let this be an easy fix. So take the nail polish remover, take it off, fine. It was like this little like clear plastic film that was on them, I guess to protect the color or whatever. I don't know what it was. But so I peeled that off and I'm like, okay, we should be good. So I tried to put nail polish on, remover on these ones before I even polished them. And I was just like, okay, we're good. So I stopped polishing them again and it started, you know, being good. So I got to these two, crinkling up again, did these, all crinkled up. <sighs> Had to get the fingernail polish remover again, take it all off, repaint it, and finally, bada boom, bada bing. So yeah, hopefully next time when I go get these nails, they have a color that I like because that was just too much work. Like I had to repolish my nails at least like twice. Not very fun. Moving on. So um, my face was like getting really, 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 really good for like a little, a uh, little period of time because I was breaking out. I was switching my like face products in and out. Oh, by the way, I'm moving on to skincare. I'm just talking and not even telling you what I'm doing. Moving on to skincare, hygiene, that area. So. My face was doing good for a while and then I started like trading in and out products from uh, Neutrogen? No, not Neutrogen. Sure. Um, Garnier. Garnier Fruities. And yeah, then my face went crazy again I was like, okay, let's not do that. Let's just stick to what we're used to and that's why sometimes I'm like afraid to venture out. So I was just like, let's just go back and stick to what we're used to. Went back to my normal facial cleanser and my skin got back to normal until the other day when I noticed that there was a pimple right here growing out and I'm like, oh my God, I'm turning into a rhinoceros. What is this? Why? Why right here? And yes, I said rhinoceros. I wouldn't say anything cute like a unicorn. No, a rhinoceros. I just go for the gusto. Rhinoceros, pimple right here, but it's going down. Thank God. Anyway, so my facial cleanser that I was used to using was this one by Neutrogena Deep Clean and it does amazing for my face so I went back to this I'm sticking to this until this says no more this is like my third one that I've bought 
already. So yeah, this one, bomb for me. And then for like lotion and stuff, oh, I just got that all over my hand. And then for like lotion and stuff, um, I had watched a favorite and I saw somebody mention the body lotion by Nivea. So I was like, okay, well let me go check it out. So I went and bought it. And yes, fell in love. This is my second purchase. I already used the full bottle. This is my second one, and yes, I love it. It just makes my skin feel so smooth and soft and just beautiful. I love it. If you need a lotion, go get this one by Nivea. On to glasses. So I usually always get my glasses. It used to be TJ Maxx, but when I moved here to Oklahoma, I haven't seen a TJ Maxx, but I've seen like a Ross and a Marshalls, and they're kind of like the same thing. So I just get my glasses from there. So the first pair are these ones. Super cute, they're probably really smudgy. You can see my ring light. Hmm? These are really cute, right? They're like a rose gold. They're a little different. Yeah, I like these. And then these ones, of course, because they had a different shape to them. I was like, yeah, I like them and they're big. I love big glasses. And they kind of like have like a cat eye, but not a cat eye, like a psych, almost, not too much. So yeah, I wear these the most though because these are the most comfortable and they don't leave that little right there on my nose because these have that thing on the end. So yeah, I got those from Ross. Some shoes that I got, I'll show you the ones from Ross, but we're not gonna finish with Ross because one of the pair of shoes are not from Ross. So let's just move on with the shoes really quick. So I got Kaylani these little cute white um, buckled sandals, but they're not buckled, they're actually Velcro. And yeah, bought these like a week or two ago, and she has been wearing them ever since. I mean, you can clearly tell, like, they go with everything. Easy to put on, she can put them on herself. You can't go wrong with a pair of white sandals, and they're super cute. So, these ones kind of like Kaylana, which is why I got her those white ones because you know, I'm forever trying to make my daughters twin with me until they get sick of it, which I still won't care. We still need to be twins. I got these ones for me. Easy little cute slip-ons. And then I got some sandals, which are also red because I'm trying to up my red shoe game. So yeah, these, really cute. And they like have a little tie. And then from Old Navy, I got Kelana another pair of sandals and these are just adorable. Like, come on here, get it together, man. Like, I'm trying to, break from wigs but the way my hair is acting maybe time to snatch those wigs back on anyway so i got her these cute little nude sandals from old navy they're adorable and again they look like a pair of sandals that i already own so i was like oh yep getting these they were 14.95 though like that is why i Stay away from Old Navy because eesh, Old Navy is pretty pricey. They have some really cute things, but that price? No. Okay, so last, I got this cute phone case, which looks like this. And I have kind of like an obsession with um, elephants and pineapples right now. I don't know why, but I do. So right now, elephants and pineapples, crazy combination, right? I know. But yeah, so I got this phone case and it's only $5 and it's really cute. So I picked it up, but it makes me a little nervous because last time I had a phone case like this on my phone, I dropped it and it cracked. So I'm like super, when I have my phone in my hand, just like, oh my gosh, please don't fall, don't break, don't do anything, just stay, look cute, whatever. Okay, so yeah, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for sticking around, even though you know my uploads are like touch and go. Thank you so much. Um, have a safe, good 4th of July. And I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Sharing is caring. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want to follow me. Follow me. Let's be friends. Keep in touch. Talk. You know, all that good stuff. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Peace.